This is student meteorologist Dean D. Davison from LiveWeatherBlogs.com. I'm here to explain what the Davison risk factor actually is. We're taking the storm, let's take the Storm Prediction Center here. We take these, the information of the Storm Prediction Center, the Severe Weather Outlook. You can see here we have Kansas, Nebraska, Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota. They're areas that are under slight risk for severe weather. Now, they put a probabilistic area out, too, also, which says 30%, 15%, 45%, and whatnot. That's of severe weather happening within that confined area. Well, the Davidson risk factor does a couple things. The Davidson risk factor says within the area, in different parameters, different parameters for different areas. So, say the probability is of tornadoes. So, we'll go to a one-day outlook. We'll go back to an old outlook. The Storm Prediction Center will say 5%, 2%, so 5% is a little higher than 2%, so this is where the area where you would have the percentage area for tornadic activity. Well, we look at different parameters, you know, sweat index, we look at CAPE, we look at all these different things when we're looking at the probability of severe weather, and, and we look at our uh, areas of sounding data that we get coming in from different weather service offices, one in Roanoke. Uh, does do this. And this sounding data comes in like so. We'll look at Roanoke here for a minute. And we take a look and it says, okay, we have a northeast wind here and we have a northwest wind here. So there's just some change direction and height, okay? But there has to be, you know, wind speed increase with height and it, with a change and all. At different levels, you have CAPE, you have um, the LCL, the lift index. All these things play a part. So what I do with the Davidson Ricks factor. I take this and say, okay, the impact areas are North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Nebraska, and Montana, mainly in that outlook we just looked at. We take a look at soundings, we take a look at the atmosphere and profile, and we say, okay, within that state or within that area, we have an 80% chance of hail out of 100. We have a 90% chance that's going to be a lot of damaging winds, and for an area that we look at that looks like we're going to have tornadoes within a state or an area. I would say 80%. So what that does is tells you, okay, you have an 80% chance that somewhere in that slight risk area, you're going to have a tornado, and you're going to have more, usually a 1 to 5 or 1 to 10 probability of a tornado in that area. So 1 to 10 tornadoes, I'm saying there's an 80% chance of that happening. So we take a look at that, and that's what I utilize basically for the Davidson risk factor is what types of weather we're most likely to see, which winds would be the, the greatest, but tornadoes and hail will be about the second greatest opportunity to happen. When we get into the winter, we're going to go into different things. The amount of snow, a two to f you know, a one to three inch snowstorm, we might have a percentage of 30%, okay, and say we, we're looking at a foot snowstorm, so the foot snowstorm would be a 85% chance of a foot snowstorm, and then cut down the rest of the percentages to make 100%. So Davidson Risk Factor is going to go into all that information, not just severe weather, we're going to also go into winter weather when the winter weather gets here. So, just just an explanation of what the Davidson risk factor is. This is Dean D. Davidson, liveweatherblogs.com. Any information to critique this, please give me inf information and f feedback on this. I would like to hear from you. And hopefully you enjoy the Davidson risk factor every day that I will do my blogs. Dean D. Davidson, liveweatherblogs.com.